Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Sierra that generation here from year 2006 to year 2013. If you guys have one of those, you have a problem where the AC does not blow cold air, doesn't blow cold, cold air, we will explain what can easily cause that. Where you can buy cheap parts and tools, not just for GMC Sierra, but any car at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered up absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so if the AC guys does not blow cold air what can easily cause that we will demonstrate on this generation GMC Sierra here First, what we need to check the fuse and the relay for the AC system and where they are located, right under the hood. What you need to do, open the hood. And here on the driver's side, guys, you have that cover, open it. Underneath, you'll find the main engine fuse box that we have a layout that will look like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you will lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So if the AC doesn't blow cold air, what can guys easily cause that? Check one fuse. We'll be working here in the middle. If we zoom in, that's fuse number 17. That's for the AC clutch. If that fuse is bad, AC will not blow cold air. The relay for the AC compressor, the AC clutch is that square squared relay right here. Now, other things that can cause the AC not to work. You need to connect one of the recharging kits with the gauge, guys. And if the gauge shows no pressure, that means you have a leak in the system. Leak can be caused by multiple things, like a leaking condenser, hose, compressor, or even AC pressure switch. If you have good pressure but it doesn't work, it could be bad AC clutch. If you want to see how to test and how to replace AC clutch, we have multiple videos on our channels. It could be bad AC compressor or you have one device that's installed on the high pressure AC line, it's known as AC uh, pressure switch. The press AC pressure switch detects if you have enough pressure to safely activate the compressor. If it's bad or disconnected, the AC will not work. Other things that can cause it could be even bad radiator fan. Radiator fan that doesn't work due to bad fuse or relay. If you want to see where the fuse for the radiator fan is located and where the relays are located for the radiator fan, we have videos on our channel that will explain that. Also, if you want to see how to test the radiator fan, we have more information on our main channels. But bad radiator fan will cause the AC not to work because uh, the car will deactivate the air conditioner. That, will, that way you have a lower chance to uh, actually overheat. Now, there could be something completely different where your AC works perfectly fine. Everything is great, right? But it still doesn't blow cold air. It could be, guys, due to a device like this one. You may have one or two. If you have a dual climate control on the front, you will have two of those. If you have a single climate control, you will have one. This is known as a blend or actuator. 
attaches to a flap that switches from hot to cold. And if you open that device, guys, you have multiple gears on the inside. Usually they will crack, wear out, or the motor will burn, and it will be stuck in hot position. And even though your AC works perfectly fine, it will cause it to not blow cold air. So hot air will be blown instead. So it could be a bed blend or actuator that costs only a few dollars. If you want to see the symptoms of bed blend or actuator, we have more information on our main channels. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.